We're going to try to go to Elu. What are we trying to do on Elu? We're driving a rover onto, onto the frozen tsunami. It does have the biggest science benefit. Our rover has had some problems with low gravity situations, but I don't know if Elu is really low gravity. It's Bop Rover. Okay, but what's its thrust to weight ratio on Elu? Two point four one, so not great, great, but okay, okay for a landing. Let me just look up what the gravity on Elu is. Uh, point one seven two. So basically, the moon. It's got an RTG. The transfer stage has an RTG. Let's see what kind of uh, total delta V are we thinking of here. One-way trip to the surface, yes. So we need a bit more, according to this at least. Then again, if we do... Is it telling the truth about this? It can't be just 582 meters. That's all lies, right? I think this is all telling me lies up here. Hmm. So I, sup I don't really want this to hang around necessarily, because it's going to be tough to turn with it. But maybe we could just add a reaction wheel. It doesn't apparently hurt the Delta V at all. That's suspicious. Maybe only... Let's have two main sails. <laughs> Reverse overkill. Really, even with the main sails, it's getting a little bit iffy on the thrust weight ratio. Ooh. Okay, let's make them smaller then. Okay, so this is an Elu rover launch. Why is the launch tower so small anyway? <laughs> okay, uh, we're definitely controlling from the wrong thing. Oh, I could just select the docking port through this menu. Let's try that. Um, coupling. One good thing about this menu. Okay, that's the wrong one. Alright. Okay, let's try it. Okay, booster set. We're keeping the fairing until orbit to avoid overheating. Okay, fairing's off. Oof. Okay, Elu. Nominally, that's a good phase angle, but Elu's orbit is lopsided, so it's complicated. Moon! Oh boy. Just go off to the side here for a sec. Well, we've got this 6.1 degree inclination difference. We'll just get it as close as possible and then do an inclination change. 21 million. Hopefully going this way more helps because then we'll avoid the moon. If it's towards the moon that will help, that's going to be annoying. Uh, it's towards the moon that'll help. Worse. Oh, well, that's pretty close right there. Um, everything else can be probably fixed at the mid-course correction. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do this and we'll fix it afterwards. Okay, I hope this burn is not happening when we hit the atmosphere again. Maybe I should have plotted it after I made orbit. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's, let's actually make orbit first.
No, it's going for away. Ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until mid course correction. I can't get this any closer. Okay, separation and ignition. Mm, I don't think we got the ignition part. Ignition. Tuba. Okay, uh, we're getting there already. Uh, why is that ascending node thing floating there? I don't like that. <laughs> why? Uh oh. This is not good. That's not a good sign at all. Okay, well, anyway, that's pretty close. We'll, we'll just try and fix it. Uh, the ascending node has gotten back to where it's supposed to be. Um, this thing... It's in the way... It's a pretty big change, but we've got the Delta V for it. Oh no, come back. Alright, alright, right. right, right. Uh, I'll take that. Okay, so that's in many, many years in 55 days. Um, whenever that is, but let's depart Kerbin with our rover. It's got an RTG, so we don't have to worry about it too much. I think we just skipped over the moon encounter and out into interplanetary space. Experiments were interrupted because of lack of resources somewhere. Oh, uh, no com. Uh oh. Oh, why is it even turning to something? Uh, well, we've got an antenna somewhere here, right at the top. Antenna extended. We, uh, it's nice that we can extend the antennas even though there's no com net connection. It's very sociable. Okay, mid-course correction hasn't quite gone all the way yet. I think I'll take that. Hopefully it won't cost too much to do a real burn when we enter ELU SOI. That's Jewel right there. Jewel at this point portion is actually further out than Elu's orbit. So, is Elu a planet? Is Jewel a planet? Has Elu cleared its orbit? I don't know, is there any evidence that with Elu here, Jewel has actually cleared its orbit? I don't know. Okay, so now being in the SOI of Elu, let's go radial in. Well, that doesn't seem too bad as far as Delta V. However, we do want to make sure we can land at this frozen tsunami thing. Okay, so two days. Well, that's not too long. We have to land there. Not the bottom of the crater? I'm shocked. Hopefully it's not going to move too much in two days. I don't know how fast Elu rotates. But let's just try this first. Oh, it rotates pretty fast, actually. Still, we probably don't want that much inclination. Very fractured Elu. That's probably going to limit our time warp quite a lot, though. Oh well. Anyway, what's capture going to take? Well, basically what's expected. Okay. Well, let's do that. Two days. Are things being run? Let's hope we stay in high orbit over the same location for long enough for this. No connection. How can we have no connect? Well, I mean, it says, no, it, it's just data. It says no connection, but we must have connection. It says full control and everything. Connected, you have control and connected to ComNet. How well, can planets be so sneaky? Oh, there it is. Go. This is very general. This is a different one. For some reason, that decoupler always stays there.
Uh oh, what have I done? Um, I've, I've gone too low. No, 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 no. We're crashing, we're crashing. No, don't do that. Save yourself. It's not time to land yet. Okay, um... Things are happening differently than I thought they should. Okay. So now we have an apoapsis and then a crash. I mean, the crash is not necessarily wrong, but we need to actually get there. So we can't crash there. Oh, there, it's over there. Where we're supposed to land. How's that the frozen tsunami anyway? I don't see... I don't see the frozen tsunami-ness. There's a lot of other really big features around here. Let's go for 30 kilometers. I don't know where the time warp restriction is. But I don't want to land at nighttime over there either, so we're gonna wait a bit. We definitely carried way too much fuel for this. Okay, so we're on a descent path here. I think we've got the orbital decay bug. Man, it's pretty, pretty harsh right now. No wonders when I uh, made orbit, it suddenly uh, brought us down to a crash course. That was because it went down more than it was supposed to because of what's going on here. Okay, time to slow down. We're not slowing down enough. No, why are you so slow at slowing down? Ah! It's just an edge of a crater? No, nah, we're just gonna go backwards eventually. I don't care. We've got this much delta V. I'm not going all the way around again. Not crash into the surface though. This is the weirdest maneuver I've ever pulled. Potentially. I might be misremembering something. I've made things complicated again. Stupid orbital decay thingy though. Okay, well, we have to go retrograde now. But we have to, like... Just hover, because we have to compensate for the oval decay thing. Okay... It's a rover, it can take one meter per second. Okay. Well, we don't want to be controlling from up anymore. I guess we don't want SAS anymore. This is a lot steeper than I thought it was going to be. Boo. That's... yeah, that, I thought it was a smooth slope, but that looks a lot more dangerous from ground level. Maybe I should do some science first, hold on.
Not that it'll let me transmit it, apparently. Oh, we're sliding. We're, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a little bit icy. Uh, stop. Brakes. Okay. Radiation observation. I don't know if the surface sample grabber is a good idea. It's not like we're bringing this back or anything. Actually, it could probably get back to orbit. And it does have a docking port. Maybe we shouldn't have sacrificed the transfer stage. Or the capture stage, whatever we want to deem it. Well, it says resume, though. <laughs> okay, that, that coming out of time warp caused it not to... We we have four thousand we have four thousand one hundred and sixty science and no connection, but I can control the rover. It says here very clearly you have control and connected to Comnet. Full flight functionality available. Drive a rover onto frozen tsunami. Okay, well. Oh, it's happy enough. Oh gosh. Control is rough. It's gotta be a different biome though. I don't think this this is actually on it. It's when it becomes a ridge like this. I'm not buying it until we get over there. Okay. Stop. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oh gosh. Quick! <laughs> oh, there's still low. It's low orbit now. No, you're supposed to be landed. Okay, can we stop right here, right at the top, and not slide down? Okay, I want to. Oh, the sample grabber still says low orbit, invalid research location. It doesn't on the frozen tsunami. It doesn't think it's a biome, and it thinks that we're in orbit here. This is a flaw. Okay, well, I'm going to... I will bring this back up to orbit. I don't know what we're going to do with it after that, but... Okay, here goes nothing. SAS would be good <laughs> at this point. Let's be attentive to the whole orbital decay issue. So we need to get higher up than that territory. But yeah, I guess we can send something that can dock to it to try and retrieve the science, maybe. No, nope, let's coast. Nice and stable here. It's because we're higher than the critical altitude for the orbital decay thing. Should be safe. Okay, so this is in orbit. Okay, well, anyway, we can't transmit, right? No. Alright, anyway, we're leaving it here, it'll stay powered and everything. And we'll see about whether we grab the science from it. But first, let's grab the science that we earned by fulfilling the mission. So, Ride the Wave is done, 6,400 science for that. Strange and beautiful formation. Okay. Permanent outpost near this topological anomaly. Okay, alright. Alright, so that just leaves the Moho Croissant, the Oblique Impact Site on Gilly, which probably should be done at the same time as the Eve thing, so probably we're aiming for the Croissant on Moho next. So with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.